uh, talk about what's going on around the country. Uh, people think more fertilizer, more fertilizer, bigger yields, bigger yields. But you know a lot different than that. Yeah, Mark, we have visited with farmers all across the nation, uh, northwest, the middle of the nation, south, uh, east. Uh, farmers think, in fact, they have been putting more and more fertilizers on to try and get higher yields. And you know, they're kind of scratching their head, they're stumped. Uh, I'm buying tremendous genetics nowadays, paying $300 a bag or better for corn. Uh, how come I'm not jumping big time yields uh, in, in genetics? Because I'm buying and paying for that genetic. And you know, what we're finding is, is uh, the salt issue from fertilizers, and we gotta have them. I'm not saying not that we don't have them, but we have to put them on in a very balanced manner. And we have to balance the nutrients in the soil. And soil health is becoming a tremendous topic uh, because now farmers are beginning to look underground more so than they used to look above ground because it's easy to drive by with your pickup truck and say, oh, well, it looks pretty good. But when they really get out and put a shovel in the field and dig up that crop, they go, well, you know what? I don't have the root system I need here. And, and it's not gonna produce the kind of yields when we go through the uh, combine in, in the fall. So the big focus now is how do I increase my ecosystem, my soil biology, because really, I know this sounds strange, but if you feed that soil just like a cow and you get that biology really churning, it's going to feed the crop. And everywhere we're we've doing, doing that and focusing on the soil, using part of our products, of the, the liquid carbon, we're seeing tremendous advantages in yield production, healthier crops, bigger crops, sustained through different stresses and droughts and situations, which... You know, it's kind of an eye-opening thing for farmers nowadays to say, wow, I, I just didn't know the soil had that big impact on my crop, but it does. And so it, it's been tremendous. And not just on row crops, you're, you're finding people that have orchards, uh, turf, talk about the different products that uh, the soil is soil. Yeah, it doesn't matter what crop you're growing it on. I mean, soil is soil, no matter where you're at. And whether it's an apple crop, orchard, uh, alfalfa, uh, different pastures even. I mean, it's all back to what we were talking about earlier. It's a nutrition going into the cattle and guess what? We turn around and eat the meat that the, the cattle produce and it's all about health, whether it's soil health, animal health, uh, nutrition in the apple, the orchard, uh, the crops you grow in your garden. You know, grandpa and grandma used to grow really nutrient rich crops. Today, we don't seem to have as, as nutrient rich crops we're after a volume or quantity rather than quality. And we've got to go back and put that health back into whatever we're growing, whether it's soybeans, corn, wheat, you know, alfalfa, you name it, that's what we got to do. So this is where a lot of Monty's products perform is we put it on foliar. It adds to the sugars, to the carbohydrates, to the nutrients that's in that crop. And therefore it comes out into that fruit and we see a lot healthier plant, a lot bigger and better um, yields, that, and which is whatever farmer wants, whether he's an apple grower or a corn grower. They all want higher yields, and we want quality crops to feed uh, the people of the country. And finally, it doesn't, it's not going to happen in one year, even if you started using whatever product to help your soil help. It, it, it takes time. It does, because lots of farmers have done a lot of things over the years, whether it was granddaddy or daddy or you or, you or your son has contributed to the uh, breakdown of the soil health. Uh, everybody wants it fixed right now, really quick, fast. You know, I want my production back up as fast as I can get it. That's true. But many of our products are designed to provide solutions in it. It's like we were talking about before, many times we have to put on a higher volume of Monty's products to correct issues, to correct problems. And, and this is what we at Monty's really love to do. We love to provide solutions for crops and uh, for farmers that's doing different things that has issues or challenges or soil uh, problems. We have products that can help all of that and can change it. Uh, sometimes overnight, but sometimes it even takes a year based on how, you know, how bad the farmer be either before you or that you have done over the last several years has, has lowered the soil health. 
you know, we talk about uh, cover crops. You always want something growing on the soil to feed the soil biology. Without something growing on it, your, your soil biology is starving to death. It has nothing to eat on. So when you let it lay fallow for so long and you come back in with a crop, you have to start regenerating all of that biology over again. And so that's one of the reasons that there's a big push for cover crops, keeping the soil covered, constant roots uh, that we've talked about earlier. So that's part of soil health issue. Good. Well done. Oh, You've thanks. done that before. Thanks.